it out to the 25. First down is Murray, rolling to his right. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Not the desired outcome, but probably won't be the last time we see him take a shot downfield. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Murray now, escaping the pressure right. Murray has the first down and more. And all the way up to the 46. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 right at the 40. To throw, it's Murray. He'll swing that out to Edmonds. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. That catch good for only a couple. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay gain. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Now it's Murray, eluding the pressure right. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. A good pick up there, 7 yards, and it's going to be second and goal now. And now the box deciding to take a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They hand off to their big tight end. And he is in for six. Touchdown, Cardinals. Max Williams. Excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Cardinals are on the board first here on the road in Tampa. Prater for the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. 
Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second and six, just inside the 30. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. A very early momentum changer there. Actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down. Felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively. And then they got hit with that big play. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the 36, Brady. It's complete. He's got luck. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Now Brady steps away to his left. And that's knocked away and incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. So, yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal, so, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football, but, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. They fake the handoff. Now Murray steps away. That'll be caught, it's Isabella. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. Murray now on first down, sliding out of the pocket. He's gonna take a shot for the end zone, and that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing now is Murray, flushed out right. The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of <laughs> relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds, they keep it. Someone came around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. Yeah, this is going to depend on the spot, but I believe he might be a few inches short. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. Dancing to his left. 
And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. A gritty play there. Put his nose down and got his guys a first. On first and 10, here's Murray. They'll roll him out right. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. 14-yard line, second and 11. Another try after the first down sack. Murray flush to his right. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Out to his left. He finds Hopkins complete. And he's going to come up well shy of the first here as the tackle's made right around the 12. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. They're going for it. Hits Murray. He'll buy some time right. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And the Buccaneers defense holds and they get the football back. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Fournette, a first down carry. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 11 yards there, just like last play. Throwing on first down is Brady. And this will be incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Leonard Fournette. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Throwing is Brady on third down. That's complete to his running back, Evans. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Someone moved, flag is out. That's going to be five yards. And that'll drive coaches crazy. You work all week on dealing with loud crowds, on dealing with motion, and then you have a guy jump. A five-yard loss there is going to bring up fourth down. Here's Bernard. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Brings up second and 10 at the 50-yard line. A reminder coming up in a couple of minutes' time. We'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman, the coach in our EA Sports studios. He'll have a look back at the next-gen stats from this first half of action. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 22-yard line. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. They'll run on first down. Bernard. 
Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. Now a second down and six. They'll run it here with Bernard. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Brady now on first down. Being chased. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Jordan Phillips. Showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. To try again after the sack. Brady over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. timeouts remember so this is going to have to be a delay so that'll back him up five and suck up will put this one right through and they'll get it back within a point at seven to six so the three points there and cd that helps them inch a bit closer yeah partner when you're losing any points you see go on the board in your favor you're happy to take them. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. Final 12 seconds of the half now as they've got it first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. No gain on the play there. Second down. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Second half straight ahead from Raymond James Stadium. Both teams finishing up their halftime adjustments. So for the call, let's get back over to Tampa and rejoin Brandon and Charles. Inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. A one-point game through two quarters as we get rolling here in the second half. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? We're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks. I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers, a little bit more to the perimeter, perhaps. But above all, play your game. 
Now Bernard. 51 yards on the ground for him so far. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. From the 40 now on second down, Brady. And he'll get that to Fournette complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. A big pick up there, 18 yards and a Buccaneer first. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdowns to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation, very few explosive plays. That's been their issue, not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. On first down, Brady. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin there to make the grab. And the Bucs have taken the lead. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or it, no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. Driving at the line, the Cardinal offense. First down, Murray escaping the pressure right. He'll air this one out for Kirk. And he fires one that's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. He got out of the pocket there, was wondering what he was going to do with it, but I think he was calling, his receiver was calling for the ball, wasn't he? He certainly was a problem. He called for it too late, and when he delivered, they were all over him in the secondary and came up with the interception. The drive starts with a handoff to Bernard, and he powers his way up past the 30. Tackled there by Richard Lawrence. Nice satisfying run up first down for the offense. Pick it up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On first down, Bernard. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. Sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he gets lost in there, and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". Brady's throw taken in by Evans here. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Now a carry for Bernard, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Isolation, isolation. 
They'll run again with Bernard. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 91 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. They'll run on first down. Bernard, and they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On second down now, Bernard. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Well, partner, Marvin, our number one stats guy just handed me... that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? I think so. Three away from that century mark. Got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today to try and get him over 100 yards. On third down, Bernard. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Giovanni Bernard from 17 yards out as the Buccaneers tack onto their lead. We talk so often about how hard it is to win in the NFL when you turn the ball over. And here a late turnover leads to a fourth quarter touchdown and a two-score lead. And what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself. You've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay. They're able to do so here, and they've got a pretty good chance now of winning this football game. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. On play action, it's Murray rolling to his left. This is caught. It's Kirk. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A first down there on a pickup of 25. <laughs> Murray going to throw. Forced out to his left. And Murray with a smart move there at the end of the play. Picks up the first down and then slides to the ground. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Buying time to his left. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hopkins. And they move this all the way down to the nine. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Now Murray throwing on second down. On the move to his left. Over the middle complete. It's Hopkins. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 20-yard line. So that one will be accepted. So now third and 10. A big play to start the drive, but nothing since. 
Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Rolling to his right. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. When he went on the move there and started rolling out, I thought there was a window, but that window closed quickly, intercepted. And sometimes, despite how big your arm talent is, you don't get enough on a throw when you're on the move as opposed to setting your feet and stepping into one. That may have been the case there, and the defense certainly benefited. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. 123 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. to him on first down and they'll get this just to the 47 one yard gain Brandon I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces it, and I know it sounds crazy but they practiced for this back in training camp they knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game right now they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On second down, Bernard. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. And his defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. On third down, Bernard. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down, that leads to a second and ten. Shotgun now for Murray. And they'll go back to Hopkins, and this time he's got him. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. Give him 16 yards there, and it's a Cardinals first down as well. Eluding the pressure right. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's a gain of 34. Again, they'll throw with Murray. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Third and two, and here's Murray. Flushed out right. 
And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movement. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to do what we call flatliner, leveling everything he does. And he takes this one into the end zone, and all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. It's a squib kick fielded just inside the 20. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. The run there on first down, going to get him five up to the 30. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. It doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. So fire the cannons. It's a victory here for Tampa Bay. 